Well, the first thing I want to clear up is that the Earth is not an insulator. The only reason this method works at all, that we can draw these electrons up from the Earth, is because the Earth is more of a conductor than an insulator. So that was a bad answer. Also, the Earth is not able to create electrons. Nothing can create an electron without also somehow creating a corresponding positive charge. The truth is, part of the reason why we can do this is because the Earth is just gigantic. So what if I take a few negative charges from the Earth? Eventually, they'll probably wind up back in the Earth. The truth is, the Earth serves as an infinite source and sink of electrons. Source means, for all effective purposes, we can count on the Earth to provide us with whatever electrons we need in this situation. Likewise, we can also deposit electrons into the Earth, essentially infinitely. This idea, that the Earth is an infinite source and sink of electrons, well, that's what the word grounding means. Let's talk to Lucio Fregonese to see what he has to say about the topic. We say that the body is, is grounded when it is in electrical communication with the Earth. So there is uh, an electrical conductor, an electrical path connecting it to, to the Earth and making it one conductor together with the Earth. And uh, it is a, a good situation, so to say, because the Earth is a big conductor and so uh, quantities of charge influence it uh, little. This seems like it might be a useful concept, this idea of grounding, when we have a lightning strike and we need somewhere to put all of that electricity. Looks like we're making some serious progress. 